Aha! Here is a, a DCO one we're breaking up for spares today. I'm going to attempt to do this on video. It won't go very well, but oh well. Already got the wand off of it, so it's a bit easier to film. There's no wheels on it, they've already been used. I don't want to break it up, but I need to because, well, I need it A for parts for this other one. And I've got this other one now, so I can't really have three lying around and it wouldn't sell. So we'll take these two tools off. Obviously not original, just DCO7 ones. It's a pattern upholstery tool. Oh, that didn't go so well. So pop them there for now. We'll start by dropping the cable, which we'll have. And I'll take the cyclone off completely. It's a wee bit of stiff. Right, lift it up and have lots of dirt fall out. Cyclone is being kept as a whole. It's a non-faded DCO one. One. Come on, there we go. Right, let's just lift that carefully out of the way so it doesn't fall apart. Then, if I actually, I could get a bit of shot of this if I kneel you down. Now, there's no wheels on it, so it's hard to move, obviously. But if I just sit these down here... Oh, there goes the first flap. While I um, open up the cable bit, you can see what we're doing. Well, sort of. Right, okay. So I'm going to undo the T15 screw. I keep all the screws from Dyson's. And then I might need some encouragement. This screwdriver is massive, but I don't really care because I'm not keeping any of these bits. So I can brutally prise it apart. I can't be bothered to go and get a flat blade, if I'm completely honest. There we go. My fingernail was long enough. Well, sort of. There we go. So we're out of here. Now the switch is in works, so we'll have that out first. In fact, no, we'll um, take this cable clamp off first. So this keeps the cable secure in here. And then this, this has actually been joined, this has been slightly modified. Because the cable was different in here to the one that was in the good absolute plus. You see I swapped the cables because this one had a purple one. Right, we're now going to try and get the switch out. Out you come. Yep, there we go. So we'll have the switch. There's a terminal my dad did. Uh, not a terminal, a spade. What am I on about? Right, I'll need to go and get a screwdriver to undo that so I'll pause while I do go get it. Give me a second. There we go, we have a small enough screwdriver and another one in case we need to do some prising. So, let's just undo this. Done nice and tight. Okay, actually, it's, of course it's done on both, isn't it? There we go. Okay, so they've been twisted together. I'm just going to pull them apart. Obviously, when I need this cable, I'll probably have to chop a bit back and remake it again. So there it is. Good cable in yellow and grey. Alright, let's get on to the main machine. Oh, that's the cable clamp falling out. Where did I put the switch, by the way? I've lost the switch already. Not even had it out five minutes and I've lost it. Oh my goodness, this is gonna bother me for the rest of this video now. And it'll be somewhere. Maybe I dropped it down one of the thingy bobs, whatever you call it. Right, let's just sit you down while I move this cable. We'll move it over to the box where the cables go. And I'll also Put these tools away while I can, before I stand on them. Like so. The HEPA flap 
though it is a HEPA flap, it is broken. So one side's a bit worn. But it's... Hmm. I think we'll just chuck that. Now, I've got a few of these housings, but this one's in good nick, so I'll keep it. And I recently put a new filter in this, actually, so it might wash up okay. Yeah, so we'll keep this as a whole. I'll just chuck that to behind me. Um, next, there's no wheels, by the way, as I said. I took them and used them on the new DCO one, because you might remember they had DCO 7 wheels. Well, it had DCO 7 wheels. Let's uh, extend my tripod a bit. And now we'll position the DCO one like this. Oh, now it's, now it's too high up, typically. Now, there we go. Now we're sort of cooking with gas. Now we're going to undo all three base plate screws. Now the base plate is in good order. It has its rubber washer. It's got it all. So we'll definitely have that. The cleaner head's quite faded, so we'll not keep that. It's actually off the good Absolute Plus. I managed to get a completely non-faded cleaner head for that. So although it looks really stupid having a cleaner head that's white and the rest is like yellow. Oh, well that, well that was inevitable. What was I saying? I was talking about stupidly faded cleaner heads, wasn't I? But I'm going to get a screw jar as well. I have a tub for Dyson screws and Dyson switches, but I only put the standard size in there. Not the little dinky ones that are for the cord clamps. So put them in what is an old coffee jar. There we go. Because you have to recycle. Whether it be for a screw jar or what. So let's have the base plate off. It's quite clean actually. Yep, that's good. So we'll keep that. Now we'll unhook the bell. I recently, well I say recently, in November when I got this DCO one, I did change the belt because the one in it was stretched a mile. But now it's a bit worn, so it it's going straight in the bin. Brush roll is a uh, good doll, though it looks short, it's fine. Spins nice and freely, so that can go in the brush roll box. Now the bumper is actually in better, con sort of in better condition than the one on the standard. But I'm going to be buying a new one for it, so we'll not obviously keep that now these cleaner heads I can struggle with sometimes so let's try and in fact I'm just going to pause while I take it apart so I've got a bit more room so give me a second there it is gone because I'm not keeping it I was just a bit brutal and used my big screwdriver while we're here this is a 1997 machine and it has both its wheel guards actually only good thing about this machine really, but oh well. Right, so I'm going to like this. Now, what's interesting is I'm sure one of the screws on here is a Phillips screw. In fact, I think some of them are missing. Some of them kept coming out. Some are missing. Right, the Phillips screw is in the middle. Why there is a Phillips screw, whether it's original or not, I don't know. But it's holding the thing together fine. I can't really care. Um, it's obviously a standard Torx in here. Then down at the other screws, I'll probably have to flip it over a bit. Wheel. Oh, there's a screw there as well. While we can see the screw up at the top where the seal is, if you know what I mean, we'll have it off just while we can see it really. And that seal's also good. So keep this seal as well. I have needed to use, I have needed one of these seals actually, like during a refurb because I managed to tear one, so I couldn't get it out. In fact, I won't tear it because it's, it's held in by the two parts, so I'll not tear it. But you'll see that bit. Apologies for that rude little interruption. Um, I was talking about a seal, wasn't I? Here, yeah. but I'm just taking the screws out of the bottom now. They're coming out. Oh, that one's a bit black. Ooh. It's quite scratched on the bottom, as they all are, really, because 
at some point in its life it probably cleaned a car on a driveway and as you'll know driveways are usually quite rough not as smooth as the carpets that vacuums are accustomed to right and now I'm going to pull this apart and now we can take the seal out because this seal up here only comes out once you've got the two parts separated otherwise you tear it now here's the motor in very good condition actually that's quite clean so I'm just going to disconnect the like thingy bob spades or whatever I'm not actually going to take the thingy bob off and no, no names this is actually a bit similar to the motors in the new Henry these brush holders, the carbon brushes now we're going to um, A take the seal up here and now try and pull this motor out I have great difficulty putting these motors back in I don't know why I've just, uh, I never seem to get them in properly but there it is big beast of a motor and there's this bottom which I have no neat reason to keep let's take the axle out if I can get it out that's a bit wedged in there I'll remove that later over there and we'll put the motor to one side so we're nearly there it doesn't take long when you're not stripping apart the cyclone right I should have got my screw tub as well before I lose all these screws oh okay that was a bit exciting um now actually there's probably no point in separating oh there's a screw! That's not for this machine. There's no point in separating these parts really, these two bits, but I will have... Mm, the screws are all in a state actually. I will have a few of them that are quite clean. And then that'll basically complete it. Yeah, that screw never seemed to sit in properly. Oh well. So that was just it really. So we've saved a good wand, good complete bin, although that's one I put on, a good motor, good filter cage, good brush roll, good sole plate, good cable, good seals, a lot of good stuff off it. I might be really sad and take that sticker off and stick it to something. Oh, we missed this seal, so we'll have that off. Hard to do it one handed, let's just, I'll do that off camera. There's some good screws here, which I'll actually just pop into the jar. The other tub I have, excuse me, for Dyson screws is actually overflowing. Because it's got switches in there as well. Um, so it's kind of getting a bit full. So we'll have to organise and pack these spares away. And then, well, it'll be goodbye to this from the job lot, this DC01. I have literally no job block cleaners left anymore. Oh, is it just me or did the lights just get really bright there? Oh, they're going a bit dodgy these lights in here. But anyway, oh I need to take that off as well because I've got a distill cleaner head that I bought because I fancied it. Um, Yeah, I fancy buying it, not fancy in the other way. I just thought it'd be cool to have because somebody actually wants me to make a multicoloured DCO one and I don't know don't know if I ever will because I've got blue, purple um, a red cleaner head and now I've got some green and purple DCO 4 wheels that would fit there's all sorts of cool things that would fit so it would be quite fun but I'm not sure if I'll ever do it but anyway I hope you found this enjoyable um, don't know if I'll be breaking another die snap anytime soon. Make sure you check out the video of this new DCO 7 in red. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye bye.